Hello, I will show you how to set up Polygon Control for Maya and how to use it. So, once you have downloaded the Polygon Control package, you run it, then you have the setup window. And uh, there is two kinds of setup, a uh, 64 bits setup and a 32 bits setup. You have to use the same version than your Maya version. If you have Maya 64 bits, you have to set up Polygon Conscious 64 bits. If you have a 32 bits version, you have to set up Polygon Conscious 32 bits. We will uh, set up Polygon Conscious for Maya 2014. So we have to select in the following list Polygon Conscious for Maya 2014 then click on next and now you have to point, point out your main Maya folder which usually is uh, in program file Autodesk and Maya 2014 you have to select the main folder not one of the subfolder it is important so once you select this main folder you click on OK Then click on next. And now the setup is running. And once uh, it is finished, you can now run Maya and verify that Polygon Concher has been well set up. So Maya is running now. And I will show you now how to use how to call Polygon Concha. So I am loading a scene. So this little van. I can optimize a single object or uh, I can also optimize the, the whole scene. So I select the, 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 the scene and now I click on, on the script editor and I type polycrunch polycrunch command will run polygon cruncher. I execute it. Now polygon cruncher has been tied to any of the selected objects. So now I can select my setting. I will keep normals and textures. And I click on calculate. And now I can change the the level of details for the for the scene. I reduce the size of the scene by a factor of eight. It is displayed in real time in the viewer. What is important to understand is that there is two kind of knot that has been tied to the object. To any of the objects, there there is a polygon cruncher node, which allows to optimize the selection of point of or, or faces. And there is also a global node, and this node contains uh, the settings for all the meshes. It's a useful way to, to modify the setting for all the meshes. After, if you want to use Polygon Control and understand how it is working, you can look uh, other tutorials. This sample was only to, to show how to use Polygon Control in Maya. So I thank you and I see you. Bye bye.